In Canadian folklore, the Igopogo is a mythical creature said to dwell in Lake Simcoe, Ontario. The creature's name is ostensibly based on the Ogopago of Lake Okanagan, British Columbia, and also the title of the 1952 book One Go Pogo, a slogan often mentioned in the comic. Other nicknames for the Igopogo include Beaverton Bessie, after Beaverton, Ontario, and Kempenfelt Kelly, after the bay that extends from the lake into the city of Barrie, Ontario. The city of Barrie erected a sculpture of the Igopogo at the waterfront. Descriptions of the Igopogo vary. Writer George M. Eberhardt describes the Igopogo as a gray seal-like animal 12 to 70 feet long with a dog or horse-like face, prominent eyes, gaping mouth, dorsal fins and a fish-like tail, and most alleged sightings describe similar-looking creatures. Another witness, E.J. Delaney described it as a creature with two long antennae, four octopus-like arms, three pairs of legs, and six gill-like appendages with feathers. David Souls, an early settler, is credited with the first alleged Igopogo sighting in 1823. While tending sheep, Souls reportedly saw a long creature leaving a wake in the water, and a trail in the mud. Another major sighting took place in 1952 by four witnesses including Wellington Charles, chief of the Georgina Island First Nation. In 1983, sonar operator William W. Skripitz reported spotting a large animal with a long neck although some have disputed this account, claiming the reading could have instead been a school of fish. Other alleged sightings include reports in 1903 and 1906 and a 1991 video recording of a large seal-like animal. In 2016 John Kirk of the British Columbia Scientific Cryptozoology Club claimed on The Shirley Show to have a tape of the creature though he did not show it.